The stock market is down 900 points today. It was down 665 on Friday. There is no question in my mind, some people call me the Zorba of my time, the Zorba of radio. Thank you very much. A man like me should live for a thousand years, but I can't. Uh, God needs me, and uh, I'll be there in a while. But the point is, I'll tell you right now, this market's not down by itself. Janet Yellen blew out the market on Friday. Friday was Janet Yenta's last day at the Fed. She said valuations of stocks were too high. She then raised interest rates. Let me tell you something. The CIA, the FBI, the NSA, the Deep State, and the Fed is all one and the same. It's called the establishment. All of you stupid liberals don't even remember your own rhetoric. All of the 60s were about what? Fighting the establishment? Don't trust authority? Trump isn't the authority. They are. They would rather burn this economy down than let Trump breathe freely for one second. They have said more things against him than they ever did against the chief of ISIS who was raping his way across the Middle East. Remember that? All the feminists marching with such self-righteous determination. Did you ever see these self-righteous Berkeley liars screaming and marching when little girls were being raped around the clock by their Muslim friends in the Middle East? You didn't see it, did you? Have you ever seen that loser, failure, leftover, nobody Alec Baldwin do a parody of the head of ISIS the way he continues to skewer Donald Trump? That's because he's such a loser. He's like Robert De Niro. He's so far out of his peak, he, he doesn't even know where he was. This guy is such a has-been, he doesn't know where he was when he was anything. He made a career out of attacking Trump. But the big, brave Alec Baldwin never had a word to say about the head of ISIS as he raped his way across the Middle East. They've made Trump worse than Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, Mao Zedong put together, haven't they? Why? Because they all went to the high school of performing art. None of them have the brains bigger than a knish. Yona Kimmel, or whatever his name is, Schimmel, said a stupid thing the other day amongst all of his stupid things, which is that, well, the reason all these talk show hosts are liberal is because they're intelligent. A conservative can't be a talk show host. Schimmel, you don't have the brains of a knish with eyes. You are a man who is nothing but a puppet of the establishment, pretending to be a wild, crazy guy with checked pants. You're the biggest fraud and loser there is on the planet. And Schimmel, any time you want to debate me on any topic, you can even bring your cue cards. I'll run you into the ground and refry you like the beans you are. Now let's get down to business. Mark it down. Almost 900 right now. Busted down 665 on Friday by the federal government, meaning the Fed. The Fed, Janet Yenta. Her last day at the Fed was Friday. And she says the stock market valuations are too high. The Dow then plummets 666 on Friday. She ends her 14-year year career by busting out the stock market. So what is going to happen now is anyone's guess. The big money is involved. They're bailing or are they bailing? Or is it the little guys who are bailing? Who's bailing right now? Where is this going to end? You know and I know the big guys are going to move back in and clean up after you bailed out. And never forget one thing about the stock market. For every dollar lost, there is a dollar gained. It is a zero-sum game. You get it? You know how that works? If someone made, um, let us say, a million dollars last year in the market, and some made hundreds of millions last year, there are people who lost hundreds of millions last year. That's how it works. And so this downside is going to hit you very, very hard very soon, which is exactly what the deep state wants. Why do they want this? It's real simple to me. The feds are doing this on purpose by running up interest rates to weaken Donald Trump, whose strongest calling card is the economy. Remember, Trump triumphed over Mueller and the nation last week, week with the release of that memo. Never mind what little Adam Schiff says. Adam Schiff is a fraud, a phony, an empty suit. Robert Hall doesn't even have a suit that would fit him. They're trying to destroy Trump's strongest card, which is the economy. Mueller has gone nowhere with this fake Russia investigation. Trump's stirring so-to speech last week was so great that even CBS admitted 75% of the people who watched it approved of it and loved it. So what happened right afterwards? The establishment, meaning the deep state, call it whatever you want, went into overdrive to destroy Trump 
or try to destroy him where he is strongest because they couldn't get him where they thought he was weakest. And so they're taking the market down. They're trying to hurt you. They are the enemies of the average American. Make no mistake about it. They're going for you. These people are so evil and so power drunk that they burn the nation to the ground rather than let Donald Trump live another day in office. Do you understand this? At least that's one man's opinion. Now let's play some Zorba, and I'll get to some of the topics in a minute. If you want to call me on any of this, go ahead, make my day, 855-407-282. Move it up, though, to the faster part, before they faint of uh, hypoxia. Can we move it to the center of the song? No, can't. The equipment's from 1943. We're saving up money to get something. We can move a tape forward. And turn it off. Ready? At this point, I'm ready to break, break something. So now let's go to the next topic. Amtrak train crashes one after the other. Duh, you don't know what happened. You were busy watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> you got your candy, your popcorn, you got your chicken wings and your stupid beers, and you watched the game. Well, I didn't watch the game. I never watched the game. I know some intelligent people who do, but I'm not one of them. The Super Bowl has always bored me to death. Not that interested. Now, it's down also the lowest in eight years. Why is that? Why is it that? Why are the Americans turning off the Super Bowl in droves? Bars, bowling alleys, veterans were boycotting it. Why? Because of the anti-American gangsters who play in the NFL. Any other questions? There are consequences to hating the flag and hating America. And we the people know what those consequences are. We're one click away from saying, go away. We're not interested in your game. You make 9, 12, 15, 18 million dollars a year and you spit on the flag. You know what you could do with yourself, don't you? Go back to the gutter where you came from and play ball in the gutter. Because that's where you're going to end up if you keep this up. That's number two. So the Super Bowl is down. You were on the Super Bowl. I was thinking about some other things like the train crash. Did you hear what came out today about the train crash? You're not going to believe it. To me, it indicates sabotage for sure. Not yet reported. It's either Antifa or ISIS. My guess is it's, it's domestic, it's Antifa. Do you know what came out today? on the Amtrak crash. You didn't hear this? The switch was padlocked to send trains on the main line to the side track. Did you hear this? Someone padlocked a switch on the track. Investigators still don't know if the signals further up the tracks indicated the track had been switched off the main route. Amtrak President Richard Anderson reported today saying the signal system run by a private railroad was down when one of his passenger trains slammed into the rear of a parked freight train. Did you hear any of this? Did you hear any of this, that the crash of the train heading from New York City to Miami shows that the United States rail system is open for sabotage? Do you understand what I just said to you? They could point fingers all they want. If they're not looking at Antifa, they're not looking in the right direction. If they're not looking at foreign terrorist organizations, they're not looking in the right direction. Just look at what the left says they are. They're part of the what? The resistance. They think they're noble resistance members fighting Nazism. They don't even know what the word Nazism means. They wouldn't know what a Nazi looked like if they stumbled on him unless they woke up in the morning and were in stone and saw their faces in the mirror. The fact of the matter is they are the Nazis. They're sabotaging our nation from top to bottom. That's where I would look. Make me the head of DHS? I'll tell you where I'd look. I'd pull the lid off Soros' funding. I'd pull the lid off every one of these left-wing radical groups in this country. I would get every one of their emails going back three years, and I can guarantee you, as I stand here, that if the crime fits, there'd be a hit. Yeah, my friends, there's a lot to talk about in the Savage Nation. Those are only two of the things. There are many, many other things. I'm not going to review them. I'm going to have you call on them, 855-407-282. There's more coming. I mean, I'll throw it all at you at the same time. Did you know that the head of the Centers for Disease Control took a job with Merck, the vaccine maker? Oh, you didn't know that? You didn't know old Mike told you the vaccine's a fraud? You didn't know that Mike told you the vaccine actually increases your risk of getting the flu? You didn't hear any of that where? You didn't see it on CNN? You didn't get it from the epidemiologist Wolf Blitzer? Well, you got it from the epidemiologist Michael Savage. The head of the CDC took a job with Merck, the vaccine maker. That's number three. Here's number four. California, as you well know, is a bankrupt state. It's just run on fake books. It's run on fumes by Jerry Brown. The city of Stockton, which is bankrupt, is guaranteeing a minimum income to poor and illegal aliens of $500 a month, no questions asked. 
I guess the drug dealers in Stockton are starving for income because there's no other explanation for doing this other than liberalism is a mental disorder. Join the Savage Nation.